welcome back to Sally's Backyard. I'm Sally. If you're new, welcome. If you've been with me for a little while, thanks for coming back. It's October and it's been relatively warm this month here in Ohio. Uh, and they said to expect warm summer-like weather for the next couple of weeks. So I guess we're gonna have a warm fall here. The leaves are starting to change a little bit. Uh, not as much as I would expect for this time of year, but uh, yeah, I'm sure that's coming in the next, uh, hopefully in the next few weeks. So uh, let's see what we can get into. I purchased some curtains for our bedroom recently and I wanted to make some tie backs so I thought, why not use some beads? Um, I had some vintage blue glass beads that I thought would look really nice. And so I strung those and uh, I thought they turned out really cute. Um, I love the way the sunlight catches them. And uh, yeah, they reflect the color into the bedroom and they turned out really cute. Um, simple project and I love the outcome. everybody it's the second week of October already I can't believe it the time is just flying by um, my kids are coming to visit in a couple of weeks and I want to get a few projects done around the house so today I'm uh, making some new kitchen curtains um, let me show you the fabric so this is the fabric uh, I chose a plaid I love plaid um, and my kitchen countertops are pretty much this color right here, like a burgundy color. Um, 
I did not choose that color. It was here when we bought the house and we've just kept it and I work with it. It's fine. Um, but I really like the oranges and the burgundy together. It's going to look really nice for fall and winter. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated on my progress. I'm just going to sew a simple hem on each side. Um, and then I'll put a rod pocket on the top and a hem on the bottom and that should, that should do it. <laughs> Here are the finished curtains. I think they look really cute. And I made um, some beaded uh, tie backs like I did upstairs in the bedroom. And I used um, just a little quartz stone. Yeah, so I think those look really cute. I'm really happy with those. Um, so I decided to make some uh, peanut butter cookies today and I'm using a recipe out of my tried and true Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook. By new I mean from 1983. <laughs> Welcome back. It's November. It's the first week in November. Uh, the weather is getting chilly and obviously more fall-like. We still have a lot of green though. <laughs> the trees are really taking their time changing. Um, so yeah, I was looking back over uh, what I record in October and uh, it's a little cooking heavy, but <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, what I finished uh, as far as knitting goes and what I'm working on currently. So let's, uh, let's get started again. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know that last week uh, my kids were home. Uh, I had my daughter and son-in-law and my granddaughter from Chicago and 
of course, Sarah, my daughter who lives here uh, in the area joined us. Um, so it was so nice to have everyone under one roof and uh, we just had the best time. My granddaughter will be two uh, at the end of December and she's just so much fun. She's a little sponge. She repeats every word we say and she loves to be outside. Uh, she loves to go to playgrounds and go down the slides and she loves to color and read books with us. Um, so it was a great time. Needless to say, I got zero crafting done and I did not mind one bit. <laughs> They're all home safe and sound now. Uh, I'm a little sad, um, but that's pretty typical. After they leave, I always am a little down. Um, I don't get to see them as much as I'd like, uh, but I do really um, appreciate the time that we get to spend together. So anyway, um, what I've been working on uh, before they got here, um, I was doing some Christmas knitting. So I can't really show you that, um, but just know that I I made several projects and I, I thought I, had, uh, I did pretty good progress on those. So yeah, happy with how that turned out. <laughs> mystery. <laughs> um, but I can show you something that um, I uh, I just started. Um, so not too long ago, I started another project. Um, and this is called the Wild Goose Chalette. And it's by Paula Emmons Feasley. Um, if any of you are familiar, she had an audio podcast um, called The Knitting Pipeline. Um, and she had that podcast for quite a few years. In fact, she was one of the first podcasts I started listening to um, when I learned to crochet. Um, and even though I didn't knit, I really enjoyed her podcast and I enjoyed hearing about her knitting and she did some quilting and some other sewing. Um, and I, I loved listening to her stories about Elizabeth Zimmerman. And um, unfortunately, Paula passed away uh, earlier this year. She had ovarian cancer. Um, but some of her patterns are still available. Um, this one, however, is not. Um, I just bought it maybe about a month ago, and I'm so glad I did because now it's unavailable uh, for purchase. Um, but some of her other patterns are available through um, Quince and Company. Um, so yeah, go check those out. Um, so anyway, I'm working on the Wild Goose Chalette, and here's my progress so far. Doesn't really look like much, but I'll put a picture up so you can see what the finished um, shawl will look like. Um, and I am using um, this Malabrigo yarn that I bought in Chicago, uh, maybe a couple years, maybe two years ago. Um, this is the Malabrigo Arroyo. Uh, it's a sport weight, and this is the Cirrus Gray color. Um, it's actually more of a, a denim blue. Um, that color is pretty true, what's showing there. Um, so yeah, I just think it's really pretty. It's super soft. It's um, it's 335 yards, 100 grams of 100% uh, super washed merino. So yeah, it's really soft, really easy to work with. I really enjoy it. And I have this on, I can't remember... Um, size seven, four and a half uh, millimeter circulars. So yeah, I've been working on that. It's it's a a very easy um, knit and it's very easy to memorize. So it's just kind of fun to work on. Um, yeah, so I've been working on that, and I've also, also still working on um, my big comfy ribbed cardigan. I think that's it. <laughs> By Mama in a Stitch. Um, and as always, I'll link to the patterns um, in the show notes. Um, and I finished, I'm pretty sure I showed this before. I finished one side panel and the other side panel. And currently, well, I had one sleeve almost completely finished, made a mistake rip that out <laughs> and uh, I'm now currently working on the first sleeve. So I have another sleeve and the back panel to go and then assembly. Um, I kind of stalled on this uh, when the weather got warm, uh, but now I'm, I'm starting to pick it back up. 
The yarn I'm using is Hue and Me. Uh, it's a Two of Wands line brand. And this is the color um, Love Song. And it's kind of a, almost like a dusty rose color. And this is a free pattern. Um, it's available on Two of Wands website or on Ravelry. <laughs> so yeah, this is the, the wrong side, the bumpy side, and then the broken rib stitch will be the right side. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this finished. I've been working on it for quite a while, off and on. Um, like I said, I just got stalled when the weather got so warm. So that's what I've been working on, those two projects. And you know, I was gonna do a little more Christmas knitting, but I think I've decided just to spend the next few weeks working on my own projects. <laughs> a little selfish knitting, I guess. Um, getting ready for the holidays with Thanksgiving coming up and then Christmas. Um, I just want to kind of relax into the holidays. So, um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. <laughs> wrap up this episode now um, if you want to find me on Instagram I am at Sally's Backyard and on Ravelry I am Crochetster um, my account on Instagram is private um, but just send me a friend request on there and uh, yeah thanks for joining me for this extended uh, October November episode um, I am thinking about doing uh, vlogmas again this year that's how I got started last year um, with with all of this YouTube stuff. So um, my daughter, Sarah, I think is going to join me on a few of those and we're, we're planning a few surprises. So uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a great week and thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs>